Hi. Um, so hopefully this will work out if I'm not, and I have to, I'm going to do something different. Well, not completely different. Basically, I'm recording right on the YouTube. Hopefully it doesn't go out this time. Anyways, I'm doing the, my first time video. <laughs> and, anyways, you know what, I get started with my first time. So, the first question in the my first time thingy is, first tweet. <laughs> the funny thing is with, um, funny thing is with Twitter is I literally just got a Twitter. Not because I, okay, because, simply because when I first heard about Twitter in 2008, I don't know why, but for some reason I said, well, I kind of know why. I said that I wanted to, um, I didn't want a Twitter for whatever reason. So I just got a Twitter, and it says something like, um, while well, I got a Twitter or something like that. I don't remember now. I don't feel like looking it up right now. I don't feel like doing that. But basically, it says I finally did something like that. I wasn't going to do it. It took me five years to do this or whatnot. My first YouTube view, I actually just watched a minute ago, because I was just looking at my page. And it's basically a candid video, and it's actually the most watched video on my page, on my YouTube page. Because, I don't know why, actually, to be honest, I really don't know why. It's really short and really stupid. But, it's literally me, it's like... Right around New Year's, I believe, and my aunt and uncle came over to my house, and it's literally music playing and my grandmother dancing. Like she's sitting on the couch, she's dancing, and then I stand up, and <laughs> apparently my pants were a little droopy, and I pulled them up. But you know, it was literally just my—I think my uncle just standing there or sitting there actually with his video camera. Or his camera or not, just videoing, just pushing the video record button. And apparently it was on my computer that I had at the time. And I just put it on YouTube because I just wanted to play the video on YouTube. I didn't really have any other videos of me at the time. And so that was my first YouTube video. Yeah, that's how you're going to catch it. I'm going to have to... <laughs> okay, everybody got an Um, first person to you subscribe to on YouTube. I have no idea. I'm gonna be honest. I don't want to say I have absolutely no idea. I subscribe to so many YouTubers in the past six or so years. I start YouTube. That I have no idea. I have no way of. Figuring it out, I don't know, um, I don't know, um, like, it's not like on Facebook, I could just keep, or, or I could just keep scrolling, and scrolling until I get to the first, like, picture, to, I don't even know if you can, like, figure that out or not, but anyway, so I have no idea. Um, first profile pick. Oh, I probably should have done this differently. I should probably, um, I should probably figure out how to put this in here somehow. I don't know how, but I'll figure it out. Um, let's see, Facebook. I can probably just describe what I look like. The first time I was, oh, I was being slow. Let's see, I can go to basically whatever I looks like in 2006, this is probably what it is. In 2006, I believe that's when I first got my Facebook page. Um, I'm gonna figure out how to put this. I'm probably gonna do, let's see. <laughs> click, 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 click. Oh my god, is this, this might be it. July 4th, 2007. Let's see, there's July 27th, 2007. It's going forwards and not backwards. Let's see, July 27th, 2007. July 4th, 2007. 
June 25th, 2007. June 20th, 2007. I wish I had, like, a way to show you where I'm looking at, but, like, I'm too computer stupid to figure that one out. <laughs> July, June 5th, 2007. Oh, I have to go all the way back before senior prom. It's probably... Oh my goodness, I'm looking at the picture. I'll go and figure out how to put this in here somehow. Maybe like a link or something. Um, I might put a link to it somehow. Hopefully it'll show up. Because I have my profile to private, of course. So the picture of me standing in the bathroom, making fun of people taking pictures of themselves in the bathroom. With my shirt on, of course. Yeah, I wanted to put myself naked. But I was pretending like I was taking a shower, basically. And so it was from summer 15, 2006. It's the first picture I ever put on Facebook. And I have a, my arm up with a bunch of soap on there, like a bar of soap. And I'm wearing a shirt that says, Proud to be American. It's a long sleeve shirt with a flag on it. And so basically, I was just with my friend pretending, just taking random pictures. Just being weird, I guess. So, yeah. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. But anyways. Um, let's see. Do you still talk to your first love? Well, thing is, I don't know because I don't know if I was ever in love in the first place. But I still talk to the first, my first boyfriend. No, because I don't. It doesn't matter because we stopped talking the minute we broke up. But it doesn't matter. Um, I don't know if we were ever in love or not. Maybe we were, I guess. I don't know. It doesn't matter. First alcoholic drink was when I... <laughs> this is funny. Was in college. I mean... It was... I was 18 years old, you know. A freshman in college. And I was in this room... And he put something in it. I don't know what it was. It was like a, it was an energy drink and they had put something in it. They all like passed this thing around, this drink in it around. I don't remember what it was. It was just like a slight taste and it was interesting. It was weird. But the first job was, um, most likely babysitting. Um, I didn't do a whole lot of, I never actually really had much of like a paid job. I've done a lot of volunteer work, but I never really had much of a paid job other than me babysitting when I was a young teenager. I didn't even do that that much. I only did a few times. But, um, let's see, my first car was a 95 Dodge Neon, and it was red. And it was the car that my parents bought when I was like six years old. Because we needed a new car at the time. And I was six years old. And um, they actually said, well, this is going to be your first car when you're old enough to drive. And it was. And the first thing I remember about driving, um, other than the driver's ed car, it was yellow. And um, anyways, other than that, first well, I mean, I had a lot of first experiences driving, but one of the first mishaps dri of driving was, I was, um, it was a few, I only done a few, like, quote unquote lessons from my dad, and I had bumped the mirror into, I think it was like the wooden thing that was protecting a dumpster turning into a road, and I think the dent. Is that dent is still there. Of course, the car itself um, no longer exists. We got rid of it. And, um, sorry, I knocked the mirror off and we had to put it back on. Um, let's see. First person you text you today. I haven't actually texted anyone today. Um, the last time I ever, I didn't actually text, but it was like a Facebook chat thing. And it was to one of my, it was one of my friends. 
um, from Towson. My best friend in Towson, actually. Fortunately, I haven't really been talking a whole lot. Um, I don't know. I've just been kind of doing all, all my own thing, not really talking to people that much. I see, I see, the first person you thought of this morning. I don't know. You know, that's how we think in the morning. Because uh, I'm not a morning person, so. Probably my son Jeremiah. I mean. Because, I mean, the first person I ever have any concern about is the kid. How well did he sleep last night? Um, I don't know. First person I saw was my dad. So, I don't know. Maybe it was my dad. I mean, if you see a person, you think about it. I don't know. I, mean, I don't really care about mornings. So, I'm not a morning person and I don't know. People talk to me in the morning like my dad. And like, really, I can't answer right now because I'm not awake yet. Who was my first grade teacher? Her name was Miss Coffee. And she was really young. I think she just started teaching. And, um, and she had blonde, curly hair. She was real nice. In first grade wasn't very as eventful as other times in my life. So, I see you were ride on an airplane. I'm trying to think now. I think it was when I we went to Myrtle Beach when I was like, I was more than a year. I was, I knew that. It was just, it was like October of like 1990 and I was, I was yeah so it was like a year and like more than a year and a half I don't know how many months that is but like six seven eight months a year and eight months something like that I don't know uh so it was to Myrtle Beach and anyways what was your first who was your first first friend and do you still talk? I'm not sure exactly because I had not sure who I would consider my first best friend. Whether it was the guy that I well the guy and his brother that I played with when I was like really little or this girl that I was friends with in preschool. And unfortunately I don't talk to either one of them. Not even like on Facebook. I mean I'm still friends on Facebook with a lot of people I grew up with. And we talk occasionally here and there, but unfortunately the people that I grew up playing with when I was a little kid, unfortunately, we don't talk anymore. I mean, I've watched a lot of, well not a lot, a lot of first times, but I watch a few first times here and there, and they always say, well, you just kind of like grow apart, and that's the truth, I mean, you just grow apart, you just do your own thing, and, um, you just... Where was your first sleepover? I don't even know. I didn't really have a lot of sleepovers. Probably because I didn't have a lot of friends. But, I mean, it depends on what you consider a sleepover. If you consider sleeping over at grandma's house a sleepover, then it was at grandma's house. But, that probably doesn't count. If you count, but, there's one time, I do remember sleeping at my one friend's house. I was probably about 11, 12, 13 years old, something like that. I don't even know what we were doing the next day. It was probably either, I don't know. Anyway, my one friend, my, um, this family that I go to church with, there's three girls. The oldest one is about a year older than me. The middle one is a year younger than me, and the other one is, like, three or four years younger than me. I've become pretty good friends with all of them. But, I mean, at the time when I was in middle school, I was closer friends with the oldest. I was closer to the oldest one at the time. And we were really good friends. And she came over to my house a lot. And I went to her house a lot. So, that was probably the first kind of sort of sleepover. Like I said, I never really had any of those big sleepovers where, like, a bunch of people come over and watch movies and eat popcorn. I never really did that. Mostly because I didn't really have a whole lot of friends growing up. Um, but, so anyways. Um, first, the first thing you did this morning. I got up, 
and went upstairs and ate breakfast. It was the first concert I ever went to. I didn't really go to a whole lot of concerts, to be honest, but the one concert I it depends on what you count as a concert. Because first I'm gonna say the one I only actual act well, sorta. I went to a few let's see, I went to um the Black Eyed Peas concert. When the Black Eyed Peas came to up that came to Columbia in two thousand six. And I was Black Eyed Peas was the band that I was into as a teenager. I didn't really care about anything else up until I now I listened to mute whatever everyone else was listening to basically. And somehow, long story short, I came across the black eyed peas and I really liked it. And I look back I'm like, why did I like that? I don't know. Me at the time I really liked their beat and everything. And I mean it's not as bad as other music could be, but it's still not something I would want someone to really be as into as I was. But whatever. I was young. But I went with my then boyfriend to the Black Eyed Peas concert. What I also, um, say the thing is that was in 2006. But I remember going with my church youth group to a weekend in Ocean City and it was called Rock and there was different there was at least one band. Yeah, there was just one band the first time. And they played different music there. So does that count? Well that might be my first concert. And the Black Eyed Peas one would probably have been like my second or third or something like that. But anyways, let's see. Like over Broken bone. First time I ever broke a bone, and the only time I ever broke a bone was when I was in the last, like, third to the last day of ninth grade. I was being really stupid, and my shoes, they were too big, and I was trying to adjust my shoes, and I tripped and fell down the steps. And I broke a little teeny itty bitty bone on my left foot, right <laughs> here. I don't know if you can see it or not, but anyways, um, and I was in a boot for about six weeks or something like that, and I had crutches, and that was really annoying because that was a sum that was right before summer, and no one likes to break a bone during summer break. No one wants to be on crutches during summer break, but that is the way. That's what happened, and that's the way it went, and. I missed out going to this one camp because of it. There was this camp called Camp Joy. I went there one time and one only time, and I could have gone other another time, but I didn't because of that. It's basically a work camp where you go and you help um elderly people fix their house, basically. And uh, the first time I went, I had fun and everything, but I didn't go. To the I went to other camps that I was supposed to go to that year, but I didn't go to Camp Joy. I went to the music camp and I couldn't do the dance class because I broke my foot. And I think I was supposed to take the dance class, but I didn't because I broke my foot, so I had to do a dance. So I forget what class I replaced it, but anyways, and they were saying at the end, like, well, you know, you're I was starting to get better actually by the end of that week. Well, like, you're starting to get better. You should dance with us. And then we're like, wait, you didn't. You weren't here to practice, so I couldn't. So anyways, but it wasn't too bad. Um, I always, um, lose track of these things. First piercing was my ears. The only time I ever got a piercing was in my ears. And now I was 15 when I did it too, because, I don't know, it was kind of contemplating. I only don't wear earrings that much, and I, they kind of almost close up here every now and then. So, anyways. First foreign country was when I went to um Bahamas when I was I was probably like six or seven, I don't remember exactly, but we went to Bahamas. And that was a big deal for me because I mean most vacations um was going to Ocean City. Almost every year we went to Ocean City. We went here and there to other places but 
Anyways, there's a nice, really big hotel. And I mean, going to a tropical place is big and fancy. And, but I was like really little. I mean, I remember it a little bit, but wasn't it quite as a big deal as if I were to go, have gone when I was older? It was really nice. And we went with my grandparents. And, um, anyways, that was, um, my first time to a foreign country. We had to go to the DMV, get me a identif a, a card, ID card. And I had to turn my head because it wasn't a real driver's license. It was a fake driver's license, basically. Because I was only like six or seven at the time. Uh, first movie I ever, I remember seeing was Aladdin. And I was probably about four when I went to see Aladdin. And my mom took me to see Aladdin, basically, and I sat on her lap. And I don't remember a whole lot about it, because, you know, I was four. I just remember going, and that was about it. <laughs> and, of course, I um, had all the Disney movies, like, on VHS, in on the shelf where the TV was on. Well, anyways... So, um, that, that was my first movie. <laughs> I remember being a kid, and whenever a part in a movie happens that you feel like you're going to cry, I was like, no, I can't cry. It's just, it's just a movie or something like that. <laughs> and so I always hold it back. And to this day, it's kind of a habit I just kind of picked up. So, anyways. First detention, well, the thing is, I never had actual detention. I was actually the good kid in school, for the most part. I never had actual detention, so, but, of course, I've done little things, and I had to get my recess, t like, a few minutes of recess taken away, and I would be like, I'm not telling my mom this, even though I'm sure she probably found out eventually. The teacher would call and tell her what I did anyways, but anyways. Um, my first roommate, it depends on what you count as a roommate, because I did go to summer camp. And even though it was just for a week, and the first time I ever went to summer camp, I think I had probably six or seven roommates or something like that. And I don't remember any of their names, but... <laughs> I remember one girl's name was Robin, and she had red hair. And I was, like, the first person I met when I went to summer camp for the first time. And we stayed in this kind of sort of tent. It was, like, this really big, huge, like, I guess you could say, like, a really big, huge bedroom with bunk beds in it. And, like, a canvas, like, roof, but it had, like, a hard floor and had bunk beds in it. But it was... If camping doesn't count, if that doesn't count because it was only one week and it was only summer camp, if that doesn't count, the only other time I ever had a roommate other than summer camp was the one and only time I ever went to college. Well, I went to college, but only time I ever stayed in a dorm on on. Okay, I made myself sound really horrible. No, I, no, um, I... Went to one college one time. I probably talk about where I talk about when I went. <sighs> Just rambling in my. Anyways, one only time I ever stayed in a dorm in college. Um. Okay, her name was Karen, and I actually called her like when we first got our assignment. And we found out who our roommates were. And I called her, and long story short, we talked a really long time on the phone, and we got along really well. And we went to the mall, and we had fun just going to the mall and buying random stuff we would want in our room. And I just remember going to like Spencer's and getting this pair that said really weird and rude stuff. And <laughs> Um, 
she was really interesting. She's a really interesting person. And, I mean, she's still on Facebook, but, like, we don't talk, like, at all. I mean, once in a while I might see a post of her, and she might still see my post on my Facebook, I don't know. But, anyways, that was the only time I ever had a roommate, other than, like, in summer camp. How one wish would it be? I don't even remember anyone that's talking about this. Maybe I do. I don't know. My wish, if I had a one wish, would be I don't know. I'm not much of a wishful person. I always had troubles with this because, like, I even had troubles like. Asking for Christmas presents. I mean, when I was a kid, I mean, of course, every kid, like, goes and sits on Santa's lap. I had, like, one or two things. And, of course, Santa would always go, like, anything else. And I'm like, uh, uh, no. Am I supposed to have anything else? And we were, like, one or two things. I just made something up one time. I was like, uh, uh, a teddy bear or something like that. But anyways, I really have a hard time making wishes because I really don't think that far ahead of of myself at the time. I mean, I just wish that to get a job, a real job, that that um I enjoy and and pays enough money for me to live off, basically. And do I want to get married one day? I mean, I kind of wish that, but I don't know. I, mean, I, I, I do, but it's not important, so I don't know. That is basically the kind of wish that I would make if I were to make a wish. If, like, the genie. Genies always give you, like, three wishes. Um, so, like, this, <laughs> and you're asking only one. So, it would probably be, like, a fairy or something that would come down and, like, what's one wish you wish for? And the thing is, I don't know, because if I said a job, it would probably be, like, a really bad one. But you know what? Whatever. Who cares? Um, let's see. It was the first sport you were involved in. And, well... I was never in any sports whatsoever except for... I took dance. I took ballet, tap, and jazz. And I start, it started with uh, ballet and tap when I was really little. When I was like five, and then when we got older, it was belly tap and jazz. So, anyways, that was the only thing I was ever involved in, and I was fine in everything. It was probably because when I was really little, I used to dress up in tutus and pretend I was a ballerina. And so my mom signed me up for ballet dance class. And it was at the elementary school I went to, had a rec room. And, um, we went in there, and they had, um, um, basically we had ballet time, and then we had tap time, and then when the time, when we did have jazz time, we went to jazz time, and we basically, the teacher would teach us to dance and whatnot, play different music, and then, when I was younger, we had, we had one teacher, her name was Miss, was Miss Kathy, and she, oh, we only, uh, would rent the costumes, and, um, we only had one song to dance to, and it was either a tap or a ballet song, and, um, and it kind of, for me, it flip-flopped, so, like, one year it'll be a ballet song, and the next, next dancer, another year it'll be a tap, or what I, and it would always be, like, to Disney music, so, like, one year it was, Actually, the first one, we did ballet, I was in kindergarten, and I wore a yellow outfit, it was yellow, and it had a yellow tutu, and, um, it, and it was to Baby Bumblebee, and we wore Bumblebee. And then the next year was the tap, and it was when I was in first grade, and it was, um, to, it was, um, the Snow White Whistle While You Work, I think it was. We had birds, and we would whistle, and I couldn't whistle. And I would just make my O. 
<laughs> Whenever we had to whistle or something like that, because I couldn't whistle. <clears throat> for the longest time, I couldn't whistle and I couldn't blow bubbles. And a lot of other things I couldn't do for the longest time. And it made me so mad. Because everyone else my age could do it. But, um... Anyways, um, and then in third grade we did it was Cinderella. It was like the first song in Cinderella when she first wakes up. It's like what a wish, a wish is uh something your heart makes or something like that. A dream is a wish your heart makes. I think it was. Anyways, and it was white, and we were bella. It was a ballet dance. We did ballet, and then after we had um this other teacher named Miss Crystal. And we did. Three. We did, we did three songs. We did a ballet song. We did a tap song, and we did a jazz song. And we had, we bought costumes, and we had like a leotard and like a ballet skirt for a ballet one, and like a a tap for tap. It was like this, like a stringy skirt, and for the jazz we had pants. And we had three songs, so we did do three of them. So, anyways, that was the only, I think it was the only after school thing I did up until, I did that from from time I was five years old in kindergarten all the way up to I was 12 in sixth grade. And, and then after that, I was too old for that program. And, um, I didn't do it after that for whatever reason. I don't even know why. Probably because my mom probably thought it was too expensive or... I don't know. But I was also... After that, I was also doing um, music. I was doing violin. And I'm probably going along with all the other stuff I ever did. But I'm not going to because that's not part of the question. So if that counts as a sport, then that's what I did. If not, if that doesn't count as a sport... Then I never did sports ever in my life ever because I'm not athletic. I mean, other than playing, obviously doing whatever sports they did in gym class and playing baseball and being really bad at it in the middle of the street with my friends. I mean, the street was a dead end street, so like every once in a while a car would come down. We'd shout car and we all stand out, we all move. Oh, like a, the drill. Like everyone run to the sidewalk, and that was it. And I don't remember what we used for bases, but we probably used something for bases, like pillows or something. But anyways, other than that, I didn't play any sports. Um, the first thing you do when you get home, it depends on what you're talking about, because I don't really have a steady job or anything, so it's not like I go out at like 8 o'clock in the morning and come home at like 5 o'clock at night or whatever. Not yet, anyways. But, you know, I'm not doing anything right now. Um, I used to go to school. Obviously, I'm done with that. But, let's say, it w let's say, um, I get home. Well, it depends on what time of the day it is. It depends on what you're talking about. Because if you're talking about, like, going to a store, I would just plop everything somewhere. Like, everything I bought from the store. If it's clothes, if I'm not lazy, I put the clothes away, if not, I just put them down, like, somewhere, and just go on and do my own thing, but if it's, like, from school, or if I did have a job, it would probably be something like, well, it depends, because if it's, like, in the evening, like, right when Jeremiah is done with school, then obviously I would be, like, going to get Jeremiah. Obviously, back when I was going to school, he was in daycare, so I had to go pick him up from daycare. So that was the first thing I would do. Or if he was already home because it was a late thing and my parents had to go get him, then the first thing I would do is obviously he would run right to me. Hi, ah, mommy. I would give him a hug and kiss. And, um, or whatever. I would say hi to whoever's in the house. If no one's in the house and obviously there's no one to say hi to and it's not time to pick him up from school or go to the bus stop now he rides the bus, um, basically, it's just come home and do whatever it is I feel like doing next. I don't know what that would be. Whether to be going on my Facebook or YouTube or what have you. Um, 
And what was your first kiss? Well, the thing with with me is with my first kiss. How long has this been? Oh my goodness, this is a long one. <laughs> I mean, they're all about the same size. They're more than 30 minutes long. And I have no idea, because I'm just laying here, just reading these things off. And I'm trying to adjust things. So I'm just sitting there reading. I'm not even looking at my picture. My first kiss was when I... Well, I'm going to start with... It depends on what you mean by first kiss, because if you told me about just, like, your childhood kiss, it was when I was on the bus, when I was, like, in first grade. I was in first grade, and there was a kid who was in kindergarten, and we sat next to each other, and we would talk, and the other kids, the older kids, would dare us to kiss, and I just went with it. And he didn't really want to, but I did anyway, and I was, like, in first grade, and I didn't know any better, and I did whatever everyone else did. Which I learned better not to do. Excuse me, learn like you're not to do that. And the other thing is, well, see, if your childhood kiss doesn't count, which I'm pretty sure it does, well, because everyone else talks about their childhood kiss when they were however old they were when they first time ever kissed somebody. Um, if it doesn't ki count, I don't even know if the next time I ever kissed counts either. Because, um, well, I was at a dance, I was a school dance, and I was kind of, like, I've always been more or less the learner, so I just showed up at this dance, and I want to try to be politically correct as possible about this. You probably could see where it is going. Basically, there's this guy that, alright, so I was a freshman in high school, and this guy, he was a senior in high school. But, see, just to let you know, he was, he basically was the guy who was in the special ed class. He was, uh, 20, um, going on 21. The, he, so, um, basically, he was one of those people who that had, for whatever reason, they had to be in school until they were 21, instead of 18, like most people. Which, I mean, I guess that helps if you have some kind of learning problem like that or whatnot. I mean, I guess being in school helps them, like, prepare them for real life or whatnot better than being in school until they're 18 and otherwise. But anyways, um, and it was a really, what was, I mean, so that's why it was kind of creepy because this guy was way older than me. I know that my parents would never let me date a guy that old. And, anyways, but I, he um was really hard to talk to because I talked to him on the phone a few times. Because he would call me um sometimes, but he's really hard to talk to because he didn't really understand exactly what you said. I'm not sure if he had a hearing problem or like a receptive problem like you would say one thing and he would hear something completely different I'm not sure what that was but yeah where this is going basically at the school dance we just kind of just start talking and we start dancing and whatnot and I don't know, I'm just kind of just going with everything and he started to kiss me like while we're dancing and it wasn't, like, really serious. It was just, like, a little bit more than a peck, but a little bit, but less than, like, a serious kiss, if you know what I mean. And it was kind of weird. The thing about it, was kind of creepy, because it was well, kind of weird and, and everything. But like I said, I mean, it was, I tried to tell him we were just friends and I'm not sure how well I don't know it was weird I mean he was an alright I guess he was an alright person but he was just something was not right exactly I mean he was an okay person but like I said he would say one thing and either he had a hearing problem or a reception 
Uh, I know, I, or, um, I can't think of a, a word for it, but I think you know what I mean. You say one thing, he would think you said something else, and it was really hard to explain things to him. But I'm not sure if that counts or not, but I'm going to say it does. But other than that, my other first kiss was with my first boyfriend, and we just started dating, like literally for a few days, and I'll probably talk about him in another video. But anyways, so like we were walking up the stairs to go to class, and I went in to hug him because I was always hugging him before going to class, because we we had a lot going on before we even dated. And we were, like, really good friends. And then he just, like, gives me a really quick peck. And that was my, my, my first boyfriend kiss, I would say. So, yeah. I had, like, you could say I had three first kisses. But, I don't know. You decide yourself what was my first kiss. So... You're gonna say my first childhood kiss, then that, that was my first kiss, but whatever. So anyways, I'm gonna end it here. Um <laughs> this was interesting. Um and it actually worked out. I didn't have to like go back and do it all over again. I'm gonna stop now before I like jinx it or something. You know, I'll upload it. Um it was Interesting going back, thinking of all the first things I did. <laughs> so here I am. Bye bye.